Good morning guys, back again. Now, I'm following on from yesterday's video about uh, fascia and pain of fascia and dysfunction of fascia and inflammation of fascia and what fascia is, which I touched briefly on. I wanted to um, talk a little bit more on that so that you can all understand a little bit more about truly what fascia is and what it does because we can tell you things, we can give you information, we can talk about it being a tensioning system of connective tissue throughout the body, but sometimes actually seeing, seeing something and, and visualizing exactly what something is doing that does the same job as fascia really helps. And I'm gonna do that today with the use of a couple of mandarins. Um, oranges also works the same, so let's go. Okay guys, so here we have a couple of mandarins basically and what I really want to do with this is demonstrate to you how fascia works and what fascia actually is. So if we're having a look at this mandarin, it's it's a whole mandarin, it hasn't been pulled apart yet. It's um it's basically it's it's surrounded by a mandarin skin and a mandarin shell and it holds its shape and it can bounce and it doesn't really go out of that shape very much. It can be thrown around. Um, and it's, it, it's virtually keeping the integral shape of what it is. If I squish it, it's flexible somewhat, but it's keeping that shape that it is. Now the Mandarin doesn't move much. That's the difference between a horse and me and your cat and your dog and a Mandarin. It's basically, it's a biological system that grows and changes for a period of time but as its general state, once it reach, reaches maturity, it's pretty static. Now, here we've got on the left, it's a mandarin, which has actually been opened up so you can get a bit more of an idea about it. And mandarins and oranges give this perfect example of what fascia really is, because it helps us understand what's actually truly going on inside the actual um, you know, tissue effectively. So the actual, mandarin i guess the organ of the mandarin now what i want you to understand is there are different types of cells which make up all these components of the mandarin like your horse's body and your body but the fascia that we're actually talking about in the previous video that impinges on movement and causes potential pain from fatigue patterns poor postural patterns and inflammation generally systemically as a a general condition that most athletes and horses experience is what we can look at in this example of the mandarin as this white stuff. Now you can see that the white stuff pulls away as I peel this half of the mandarin and it's, it's almost connecting the inside organs or muscles or pods of the mandarin to the outside shell which we can imagine is our skin or the muscle, um, the, the sacs which hold the muscle around. Now, this is the visualization of the fascia of the horse. Now, the problem is, is if you have issues with short ranges of movement that don't take a moving biological system different to the mandarin through its full ranges of motion, what you'll tend to get is because these areas are supposed to slide in human, horse, cat, dog, and, and mammalian systems to the end ranges of their movement, like if I show you with this one, we'll open up the middle, there is some movement there. They are supposed to be somewhat sliding in the horse. If they don't go through those full ranges of motion, so we've got a restriction of movement from a painful condition from a commonly referred to trapped nerve, which is usually just a fascia adhesion between the nerve sheets. What we'll tend to get is a continuation of that reduction of movement as the body tries to repair itself as a normal response to movement and activity. And it will continue to build up these little fibrous um, uh, adhesions and proteinous proteinous adhesions between the tissue. And this tends to happen through incorrect and incomplete cycles of movement effectively. So as this continues to happen, these incomplete cycles of movement, 
the body continues to lay down these protein strands in between the, the muscle tissue and the sliding surfaces that we need for movement and further continues the issues of stiffness, um, nerve sheath entrapment, which gives poor feedback and then the brain translates that as pain. So that's just something to think about. So grab a mandarin, have it, eat it if you want at the end of it, but pull it apart and have a look at all those connecting fibers of, uh, of tissue that, and imagine that that is exactly what we're talking about when we're referring to fascia and sliding surfaces and fascia adhesion. And these little pods are actually the muscles that need to slide to allow that movement. But you can also see that the fascia is actually providing a huge amount of support and communication between the layers of the tissue, the organs, the muscles, and how important that is for a whole system. And there is nothing segmented about your horse. It is all a communicating whole body of interconnected tensions and pressures and boundaries. There you go. Catch you later. Enjoy your mandarin and your orange.